on the Dacity blog, there's, it's right at the top, there's a conversation on the CDP versus analytics platform. And I know this is a, a hot topic for you. So I'm curious, what is the difference to you between a CDP and analytics platform like uh, Dacity? And then what's the inflection point between where you choose like one over the other? Yeah, so uh, probably one of my favorite quotes from our CEO, a CDP is honestly just a bad analytics platform. Um, and what I mean by that is, the main difference is that a CDP is taking your marketing and sales level data, combining it, and then telling you what to do. An analytics platform is taking all of your data across your entire company. And the, our philosophy at least is build the data warehouse so you centralize it, build the data model on top of that, and then dive into it. And so when you think about those core philosophical differences from uh, the team actually managing it, the first big piece and the first big difference is every time you run a test, you're gonna have a question. If you're relying on somebody to constantly tell you what to do, your team is just not going to develop the skill themselves of, we have an idea, we test it, we see the feedback, we ask more questions, we roll out new tests. It's more of, I'm going to rely on this other provider to tell us what they think. And most of the time it's some sort of AI model, which we can get into how effective we think that is or not. But what we find a lot is the companies that are really successful using our platform are able to dive through their data, ask those questions, and then get to that next level insight because no external place, like not even us, is gonna be able to tell a business more about their business or have more context than the internal team. And so what we find is it's really important to empower that internal team. The second piece is, is that a lot of analytics players and data warehousing providers will actually allow you to stream data out of your data warehouse at this point. So for, you can have one tool that kind of does it all versus the CDP doesn't really have the deep data across the rest of your organization to pull in your operational data. And especially for a, a e-commerce business or a D2C business, like your carrier data, your inventory data, there's so many other pieces of your business that you need to have that information, even for your marketing team, right? Like you don't want your marketing team to be pushing products hard that are going to go out of stock next week because they got nothing to sell for a month. And so having that all in one place is really important. I would say the last big piece here is just the, a CDP is a marketing team tool, an analytics platform everyone in your organization should use. And so one of the really cool things that I hear pretty consistently from a lot of our merchants is that they refer to it as a single source of truth because everyone in the company can rally around one data set, a couple of dashboards, a couple of different pieces and they can all get on the same language. And I think that's so important, especially for the fast growing businesses where you're adding a lot of teams, everybody's kind of splitting off into their own areas. What we find is the brands that are super successful. They have those meetings where it's either heads of departments or cross-functional teams are like, okay, we have this one problem. We can measure this problem with this one KPI or this one piece of data or metric. And then they figure out how to work together. And when you have just your marketing team migrating out into the siloed platform that's only doing one thing and then streaming it to all of their platforms, you lose some of that good osmosis of them talking to the ops manager, of them talking to this customer support team to figure out what's going on. Because really at the end of the day, like to be successful, you need to solve those internal problems that then flip into customer opportunities.